go from one inspiring story to another. Here's a question. Have you ever read the poem A Freedom Song by Marjorie Oluthe Magoy? Well, to jog your memory, it's a poem about a young girl called Atieno who washes dishes, plucks the chicken and does things like that. Well, tonight, KTN brings you the story of a real Atieno from Bondo, a house girl who, with the help of her employer, defied the odds, sat the KCSE exams and scored a B+. Angel Katusia has Elizabeth Atieno's story. I left home in 2004 and I ran to Mbita where I was living with a friend. The story of Elizabeth Atieno from Bondo is an inspiring one. At 16 years old, Elizabeth had dropped out of school in class 6 due to what she told us were private family issues. After that, she told me that there is a, one of my my uncle's wife, he, she needed a house help, so I can take you to Nairobi. So I said, yes, let me just see if I can go to Nairobi. In Nairobi, Elizabeth found herself in new surroundings. She was not sure she would be able to cope in the city. There were so many ladies talking in English. So I was a bit confused. How will I live in this house with this English and I can't understand some of them. But it is that English that inspired her. Margaret Muga is the woman Atieno is referring to. Margaret employed Atieno as a house help, but according to her, there was something unique about Atieno. I realized that she was a girl who was very intelligent and very responsible and very neat and particular and very beautiful. I was very excellent in my work. Everything I did was just okay. So she was always studying me, asking me questions in English. It did not take long before Margaret offered to take Atieno to a tailoring school. But Atieno's ambitions were bigger. They look at me in the eye. Why do you want to go to school? And then she said, the way they speak English, and even the way you speak English here, it means there's something good when you go to school. Margaret finally made the decision. She could not secure a school in Nairobi, so she took her to Bondo to stay with her sister and enrolled her in class 7. Atieno sat for her KCP and passed and joined Nyamira Girls, still chasing her dream to speak proper English. At the end of 2013, I did my form 4 and got a B plus and I'm happy. My joy is that Atieno will never be a house help again. Never. I want to be a journalist. Atieno's dream now may not seem as far-fetched as it seemed before. Margaret, her mentor and guardian, says her joy is to see Atieno speak the English she so desired to in a future profession. Angel Katusia, KTN.